name is Michael Cochran, and I am the Artistic Director of the Market House Theatre. I'm also the Director of The Drawer Boy, and I'm sitting here on the set as we're still building it for the play The Drawer Boy. Morgan and Angus are lifelong friends. They grew up together, they played hockey together, they skipped school together, and Angus kind of took care of Morgan during that early part of their um, childhood. They went to high school, Morgan barely graduated, Angus um, did pretty well and was going to go off to college. World War II started and Morgan wanted to enlist and he convinced Angus to enlist with him. And the two boys went off to fight in the war where they met two girls who they fell in love with. During that war, Angus was injured when a door flew off and hit him and the door knocker buried in the back of his skull and the surgeons put in a steel plate to separate the two parts of his brain. In that process, Angus lost almost all of his memories. So Morgan has become the holder of the memories of the two best friends. Miles is an actor who shows up at the farm one day and he wants to put on a play about farming. He's with a troupe of actors and they're asking people to allow them to live with them and learn about farm life. I'm sorry I hit you with the tractor. Ah, uh, think nothing of it. Hardly a day goes by on a farm where some thin or somebody doesn't get run over by a tractor. I expect you'll find that out first hand. Thanks. <laughs> some of the funniest moments in the show come from Miles trying to understand what it's like to be in the mind of a cow who's afraid of being slaughtered if he doesn't produce enough milk. Lowy. So, so scared, must make milk, don't want to get eaten. There are lots of different things that happen as Miles discovers what farm life is about. And one day, Miles overhears the story of Morgan and Angus, the two best friends. They would go home, have a double wedding, build a house on the farm that they shared. Two houses joined. Two families would begin. Life would start for the four friends. Went home, they had a double wedding, but drawer board recited a poem from a stolen book. They started it on the house. When Miles puts on the play, and this is the part that interested me about how theater and the arts can be a healing, Angus starts to remember some things. And suddenly Angus's memory comes back a little bit through the process of seeing himself being portrayed on stage. But the problem is, the story that Morgan's been telling him doesn't add up, so we don't know what the real story is. And that's what the second part of the play is about, is discovering the real story and the sacrifices that Angus and Morgan made for each other, and how they care for each other here in farm life. It is a wonderful story about friendship, lifelong friendship. It is a wonderful story about how we deal with people with memory loss and how the parts that we tell them what's true and what's not true because we want to protect them in some ways and it may not be protecting them at some times and the power of theater to bring that story out and to help with some of those memory issues and that's why I love the drummer boy <laughs>